Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be an aromatic and a flavorful curry recipe which is Thai red curry which can be made just under 10 minutes. So let's get started. Now for the ingredients, I have taken some vegetables of my choice, some yellow bell pepper, some broccoli washed and cleaned already, some zucchini or courgette, some red bell pepper, some finely chopped garlic and some coconut milk. Here I have taken the regular tomato ketchup, tofu, a store bought red Thai curry paste, some soya sauce and some coconut milk powder. I have taken half of this 50 grams coconut milk powder, added some lukewarm water and made this coconut milk to this consistency. Thai curry goes well with the steamed rice. So I have soaked one cup of basmati rice here which has been soaking about for half an hour now. And some coconut oil. Now for the steamed rice I have taken one and a half cups of water for one cup of basmati rice. Let it come to a boil. Now in a pan I am adding some coconut oil. The oil is nice and hot. I am adding the finely chopped garlic to this. I am sautéing the garlic. Once the garlic turns slightly brown, we can add the veggies one by one for stir frying. Now the garlic has turned slightly golden brown. To this I am adding broccoli. Zucchini or courgette giving it a mix adding the bell peppers red bell pepper and the yellow bell pepper to this I am adding some salt and some fresh pepper powder giving it a good mix now I am going to cover this and cook this for about 2-3 to three minutes now the water has come to a boil I am adding the soaked basmati rice to this. Adding some oil and giving it a mix. We are adding oil here so that the rice doesn't stick to each other. In the meanwhile, I had cut these tofu into small cubes. Let me check the rice. Uh, it's almost done. Still it needs 2-3 minutes. Now this is about like 2-3 minutes now. After 1 minute the vegetables had left water and the water has got evaporated now. And now to this I am adding a teaspoon of soya sauce. big spoons of the store bought Thai curry paste and giving it a good mix. Now the rice is done. I am putting off the flame and covering it. Now I have mixed the Thai curry paste well. To this I am going to add the cubed tofu. I have added some water into this container and adjusting the consistency of the curry. 
you can also add paneer in place of tofu you can also add mushrooms to this traditionally in thai curry they add bamboo shoot basil leaves to this but i'm not adding any of them since i don't have them the thai curry has started to boil to this i am adding a teaspoon of sugar and giving it a good mix in case you want the curry to be more red then you may add kashmiri chili powder to this i am fine with this color hence i am not adding any kashmiri chili powder to this Now it's about 2 minutes the curry has boiled nicely and has become like a nice gravy like consistency. Now we can put off the flame. That's it. We are done. I'm transferring this to a serving dish. So now our yummy aromatic Thai curry is ready with the steamed rice. Let me serve this and show you. Now I am adding the cooked steamed rice. And some, wow the yummy thai curry to this wow it's so flavorful now let me show you so hope you all like this video please do like share comment and subscribe to my channel i just can't resist to eat this so i'll see you all in the next video thank you bye bye